what am I doing? What are we doing today? I want to sit down and film a makeup video today, but I don't really have any idea what kind of makeup look I want to do. But I was sifting through my collection and these two blues really caught my attention. So I think we might like to do a little periwinkle makeup look today. You'll just have to keep watching and find out. Um, I'm gonna zoom you in and it's gonna look like I'm not wearing a shirt, but just know that I am. If you can't see it, you'll, you'll be able to hear it. Okay, so I just put my skincare on and prepped my face with the Waleda Skin Food and just a little bit of eye cream. I use the Antipodes Kiwi Seed Eye Oil. I'm gonna be going in with my favorite foundation, which is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a bit tan right now. So this color matches me perfect. And then we're gonna quickly do brows. And I'm just gonna speed through that because we wanna see the eye action. We wanna see what's going on there putting foundation on is most boring thing to watch. Also, I'm in a chatty mood, so I'm probably gonna go off topic a billion times, but I've noticed when I film my video, it's funny when you watch yourself back on video, you don't realize what I do, what you do. And I realize when I put, do anything on my lower half of my face, I move my face instead of moving my brush. Like instead of going, I go. And same with lipstick, instead of going, I go. And it's honestly really funny to watch back. Funny to me, might not be funny to you, who knows. Let me quickly go in and do my brows. I kind of want to do my eyebrows with powder today. I used to always do them with powder and I use the, the NYX lingerie lid shadows. The packaging has completely faded. So I might do that and then chuck a little bit of brow gel through as well. We're gonna have an intermission and I'll be back and prepped for eye application. Eyeshadow application? Yeah. Okay, so I'm primed. I'm gonna use these eyeshadows from my palette, my Z palette. All these ones here, except for this bottom row, are ColourPop single pan shadows, which I have loved for ages. They got a bit lost in my collection because I got a lot of new eyeshadows recently, and so I'm trying to, you know, I've bought them back out, given them a bit of love, which, I adore them. So this main periwinkle blue that I want to use is called Lost and Found, but I might just go in quickly with this shade up here just to warm up my crease a little bit. And that one's called Wake Up Call. And I'll quickly mention the other shadow that I'm going to be using, which is this shimmery pressed pigment from L'Oreal, and that is in the shade Ruthless. So. And then what I'm gonna do is take the concealer that I primed with and just brighten up the lid again. But this is also so that that blue has something nice to stick to. I'm gonna keep it lazy, so I'm just gonna use the same brush for the whole look. I'm going into that ColourPop blue shade in Lost and Found. I mean, I probably should have used a smaller brush, but... I actually... Can't be bothered. This brush is from NYX, actually, and it's probably my favorite brush in my makeup collection. If I lost all my makeup and I had to buy the bare necessities again, this would be one of the first brushes that I purchased. Mug? Don't stress me out. I literally have so many mugs, but every time someone asks me what I want for my birthday or Christmas, I always say mugs or socks because this girl can never have enough. I just love mugs. Don't know why, can't explain it. They just make me so happy. So if you have ever worked with blue eyeshadow, you'd probably know they like to do funny things when they're blending in with other shadows. So I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time blending that transition shade and building the blue over the top. That's looking how I want it. I say that and then I blend some more. So I'm just gonna take my finger into that little pigment. Cause I think that might be the best way to apply it. I haven't used this before. I kind of wish 
it was a little bit more glittery rather than shimmery just off the first application. Actually, that's okay. It's a little bit more frosty. It's kind of nice. I'm going to quickly dig through my collection and see if I've got some fun face products that we can try today. I'm going to quickly go in and conceal with my hourglass. What are you? Vanish. Vanish concealer. Start off with a little bit of highlighting and then we'll do some spot concealing. And then a little bit of contour with the same brush. So it's my birthday and my best friend's birthday in about a month. We have our birthdays are one like one day apart. And as you know, minuscule as this is. We're gonna be having our birthdays in stage three lockdown. But luckily, you know, we're only turning 22. So it's not like it's a milestone or anything, but I don't know what we're gonna do. I kind of want to, I just miss traveling guys. I just miss traveling. Everyone in the rest of the world is just traveling around. Like I follow all these UK beauty bloggers and they're all like going, to, going overseas and going to Glasgow. I don't know why I picked Glasgow, but it's just really annoying that, you know, I'm in Victoria and we have literally a statewide curfew. We're not allowed to leave our houses after eight o'clock. And Little Miss is like going to the Greek Islands for a weekend away. It feels silly to complain because like, you know, I like saving lives. <laughs> I sound like Vanessa Hudgens in that video. Which is like, why cancel Coachella? It's inevitable. But like, dude, six weeks in stage four, it's, it's, yes, it's for the greater good, but man, it's bloody difficult, that's for sure. I just sat with a bit of translucent powder, by the way, and I'm just gonna quickly spritz. With my setting mist, to rehydrate this bitch. And then I'm quickly gonna go in with the Luma Cashmere Casper Illuminating Stick, which is my second one. I used to be obsessed with this product. It is absolutely gorgeous and great for like minimal no makeup days. So powder products are down. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna use my MAC Give Me Sun. Bougie. MAC's not considered bougie, is it? It is to me. And we're gonna get real bronzy because I did tan. I literally just tanned because I wanted to feel nice. And then I'm gonna use this product here, which is new to my collection. And it's the Inner Car Mineral Blush in Peachy Keen, which this color looks really cute. Ooh, pity. Oh, it's a little bit like, cause it's loose, it like sticks. It just makes me look very sun-kissed. It kind of gives that like, I'm sunburnt look. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna pop some lashes on and maybe do a little bit of that transition color on the lower lash line and in a corner highlight. Maybe a bit of freckles. We'll see, I wanna try these. These are the Manicare Glam Lashes in Harper. <gasps> they are. Intense. I really want to try them. I'm not a big fan of the manicure lashes because sometimes they have a really thick band, but like this style just just caught my eye. While we're here, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment and maybe like ring the notification bell. Maybe like um, share this video. Maybe follow me on Instagram, maybe, you know, read my blog. Just, you know, just making a suggestion. You don't have to, but you might like to.
No. Uh oh, this one's not being nice. Okay, lashes are on. I'm just gonna take the transition shade under the eye. I don't think I wanna bring the blue down there. Don't ask me why. I might deepen it up a little bit with like maybe a little bit of a darker brown as well. So it adds a little bit of smokiness. Okay, let's mascara this bitch up. Pop some freckles on, I reckon, and pick out a lippy. Lime crime freckle pen. Bourgeois lipstick in the shade 16. Caramelody. And this is quite a deep. Oh, I thought it was a brown nude, but it kind of looks a little bit more pinky nude. And then I've got Smoked Almond from MAC, which is my favourite MAC lipstick. Which is more, no, that, see that's more of a pinky nude, this is more of a brown nude. And I go with the Bourjois. Bourjois probably have the most underrated lipsticks in the drugstore. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I might actually do a quick lip line to match. That's real yum. But yeah, that's the finished look. Let me know what you guys think of this little periwinkle look. Oh my god, my tattoo looks kind of fresh. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.